All right, guys, we're back with round four, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games. We got myself on the left playing Black Wings and Los on the right playing Bayou. So Los went first, set a back row. I go Whirlwind Shura. Let's see if Los can stop my summon. So he lets it go through. So we know it's probably not bottomless or torrential back there. It's probably a D prison. Let's see. Do I just, So I decide to go for debating between Bora and something else. So in this round, I was actually undefeated and Los was X1. So... If I win, I'm guaranteed a spot in top four. If Los wins, this will be the last round of Swiss and we cut the top eight. So here I'm trying to knock him out of the tournament. Okay, so I probably knew that was deep prison, but I've got to get through it eventually. So I just hit him with Shura. And I'm debating on sending a back row or do I just pass? So I do set one. I can't remember what it was. Now Los set sets. So I searched Gale. All right, Sirocco. So I already have the... Oh, is that Torrential? Yeah, so he Torrential says Vayu. And then I flip Yada Garasu. So he Normal Summons Reaper. I'm pretty sure my face down is, I think, Oppression. And he hits Boras. So I still have the Gale in my hand. And he passes. All right. So he can't stop a whirlwind summon. So normal summon another Sirocco. Mm. So I already have Gale. So I'm going to talk about something that happened. That's about to happen here. Because I remember this game. Now, Los told me I messed up. Which he knows he has Gores in his hand. Versus I really don't know. So I could have played around Gores better had I just attacked him with uh, Sirocco and Gale. But at the time, I honestly didn't even see it. I was just thinking, I don't lose to Gores with my hand. It's not like I didn't play around. Like, I, oh, I get blown out by Gores here. Because my game plan was like, I have oppression. I'm about to set D prison and I'm going to make Stardust. And also, it wasn't, like, obvious that he had Gores either. So I was just kind of like, okay, if he has Gores, I'm fine. If he doesn't. But I could have played around it better. I could have just attacked the Reaper. But like I said, honestly, I just didn't think about it. I didn't think about playing the, around Gores the best way. So we'll see what happens the rest of the game. Okay, so I go Starter. So I know I have Oppression and Deep Prison. So he switches the Gores. Because, like, the token is just a... I mean, it, let's see if, it, like, if he gets a free body for Caius, I guess. But now he sets three. So, upstart. Oh, I forgot to take the life points off. So, he took... He took, what, 23, right? No, 33. And now he solemns my Shura. That hurt. Okay, so now he brains, so he's a 2050. Switches everything to attack mode. He's got one card left in hand. I guess he's just going for the damage. Maybe he's la his last card is Caius. Double roll one, but he stopped my Shura summon. So he attacks for 2,025 with the Stardust. And obviously I'm going to deprison the Gores. Because if he has Kais, he's going to Kais my other back row. So now I'm at 35 to his 2050. Oh, he has Sirocco, which is pretty bad, too. So, I'm pretty sure I searched Kalu, right? Yeah. Plus one thousand. Wait. Yeah, so I, that's the Kalu I searched. So, now I get the... Now I get double Blizzard. So, we're at 3,500 to 3,050. Alright, so Kalut, Double Blizzard. 
But there's the Caius, and I have the bottomless here. But I'm still okay. Actually, no, I'm not. He's got Vayu. So my, my back row is Oppression, which, man, Oppression is really bad against Vayu Turbo. Actually, after this game, I, I took it out of my deck. You can just see here, it only stops like two cards. It only stops a return and like a Plague Spreader and I guess Dark Arm too. But it still might not be worth it. So Los takes game one. Also, I think I should have searched Blizzard instead of Kalut right there. So I did not play well that game, but it happens. Let's see, can I win these next two? So I start off with Upstart. Set one. Lowe's plays Rhoda. Searches Greffer. Greffer Vayu. Dumps Sirocco, obviously, the standard play. And I think he hit for 17 already. Yep. So Lowe's decides to only set one. Probably playing around Icarus. I only played two Icarus in my Black Wing deck. I've never liked three. This is not bad. Torrentialing. He torrentials a uh, Shura. So he's got three darks. Does he have dark armed again? But he's probably not going to drop it here. Oh, no. He does drop it. Oh, wow. So he's being aggressive. And he hasn't normal summoned yet. 23, 28, and I already took it. I already took 17, so now I'm at 12 to his 9K, and he sets maybe Ryko and a back row. So this is not good for your for your boy. <laughs> okay, normal Blizzard. Do we go for what am I gonna go for? Okay, so Brio. Maybe I have my own Dark Armed. So he's got nothing in the grave. So let's see which one I'm going to put back. Do I put back his back row or do I... Okay, so that's what I'm debating. I definitely I definitely have Dark Armed. That's why the question is here, what do you put back? Do you put back the the Arm Wing, the Dark Armed itself, or... So I chose the back row. Maybe I should have done the Arm Wing and, play, and just risked it. But I think it's fine because he still has to deal with... He still has to deal with a Dark Arm and a Brio on the field. So here I can Brio his Armed Wing or I can Dark Armed it. So let's see what I decide to go for. So I decide to get rid of the Armed Wings to give him less plays. And then 23, 28 I'm sure. So like now I know one of his cards is a back row, so he has to set set to deal with a Brio and a Dark Arm, but now, now I can pop either the back row or the monster, depending on what I decide to do. So let's see which one I decide, because I only have one Dark left. So he changed return, pays half his life, so now I can't kill him. What's my back row? I don't remember what it was. <laughs> it's funny. We both dropped Dark Arm, but. So the back row he said was return. So if, had I not bounced the back row, I probably could have been in a much better spot. But I think it's too risky, though, because like, what if he has a bottomless? Would he have bottomless my Brio, though? I don't know. Maybe I should have just went for it, but it's just, I don't know. A lot of things could have went wrong. But I'm still in an okay spot. Maybe just going for it and dropping the dark arm would have been the right move. Like, Brio, bounce the arm wing, drop dark arm. But like, okay, so he's special Cyber Dragon sets. Okay, I'm still in an okay spot. He's at 1950. I can like Brio and then use dark arms effect. And yeah, low scoops. So we pull that game out. Let's see if I can... Eliminate Lowe's here in game three. Who's going first? Rhoda. I remember people were like really into this game because 
Well, I'm undefeated because usually there there was three undefeated, right? My friend Donnell and Josh were sitting next to us. They were undefeated, and I was undefeated. So basically, if I beat Los, the top four is gonna be like me, Josh, Donnell, and someone else. And Los is part in his dynasty right now, so I'm trying to knock him out. <laughs> he just keeps winning. All right, so Gref Greffer, two back row. Does he have something to stop heavy? Come on, heavy. 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 But I, I, maybe he's got a Solemn or something that's chainable. But what's chainable in Bayou? No, there's nothing. It's not like they play Legacy of Yadagarasu. This, this is crazy how often it's happened where people set two and they don't get punished. And it's just crazy. But I don't know what his back rows are. We'll see. Maybe he's got a Solemn. Maybe he main deck Starlight Road. I don't know. But it literally has been happening like every, almost every match. People do this. But nope, no heavy. And the one time I did it on camera, I got punished. But it wasn't even first turn. I did it like mid-game. And then we saw Nathaniel on camera just ripped heavy, boom, slammed it down. <laughs> All right, so I normal Bo Shura, special Bora. So I don't want to leave the Greffer up. So I get blown out by Mirror Force here. Ah, dang it, man. That sucks. Yeah, so I don't want to leave. Uh, I'm playing around D-Prison there. Yeah, so I was playing around D-Prison. Like, I hope he doesn't have the D-Prison for my Shura. So that's why I special summon the board. Just try and deal with it. But, you know, triple D-Prison versus one Mirror Force. And now I take 4K. There's just the odds right there. Th three versus one mirror force. So normal Sirocco. So what's Los's other back row that he didn't use? We know it's not bottomless, but now he's got Necro too. See, this is one of the reasons why I, I, I went for went for the uh, attack. Because if I leave the Greffer up, now I have to deal with another Bayou, a, a Necro Garna. And if I kill that Armed Wing, he's got another Bayou play. So I think I did the right move. I, I had to uh I had to do that. So maybe I drew the Kalut just now. So he takes what? 30 34 900. But see this is this is okay for him cuz now he's got a 2500 Sirocco that I have to deal with next turn. So now low sets 3. So either A he drew into Solemn or he had the Solemn all along. We'll find out. Hopefully. So I'm looking at my hand. I'm debating on what's the right move. I know he's got a 2,500 mon vanilla monster coming out next turn. So there's a dark armed. I think I had it because that's why I'm probably another reason why I did the Shura Bora play. So here I'm debating on what do I want to hit. Do I go for the Greffer or do I go for the back rows? So he doesn't have Solemn. Wouldn't he Solemn the dark armed if he had it? Hmm, this is interesting. So I decided to hit that one. So my body, okay. And Los is left with one card. Pop the D prison. So he that D prison in my body. Now we're going for the other one. So he didn't have anything to stop heavy. Shaking my head. So he set burial and mirror force turn one. Risky, risky, risky. All right, so he's still, what am I reading? Oh, yeah, he put the Necrogarna back. Actually, no, the Burial play was not risky because he he went by you first turn. Never mind. But he didn't have to set it. He could have just set the Mirror Force. But I guess he's hoping I MST the Burial. Yeah, MST the Burial and... Then he just chains it, puts the Vayu Sirocco back in the grave. 
That would have been a hard read for me to make, though. Like, to read that he set Burial. Now he's got two cards. So he's got the Arm Armor Master, attacks over Sirocco. So I have another Kalu. So now he goes, he takes 900. So I'm in, I'm in an okay spot. I got Dark Arm, Sirocco, a Dark in the Grave. Those has got two cards in hand. He's at 62 to my 4,000. He already used... Does he have another value in there? He's still got ne Necro. What are his last two cards? Let's see. Ooh, Lowe's taking a long... Oh, he does have another value. So he can out my Dark Arm, but you already attacked. So you just have to wait. Yeah. He's going to have to wait and hope that I don't kill him. But it's going to be hard for me to kill him because he's got Necrogarna in the grave. Yeah, he's taking a long time here. Yeah, he... He, he or Los would get called out for slow playing. He's taking way too long. But maybe he's going to have a Caius. So I, I crow his value. Does he have Caius? Is that his last card? Oh yeah. I wish I should have put a timer to see how long he took for this for this play. Alright, so he's a 62. Then he's got Necrogarna. Yeah, I can't kill him because this is full. So and I upstart him again. <laughs> Great. Could he have a could he have Gores again? Let's see if I attack into it. 2K. I don't... Could he have Gores? No, he doesn't. So he uses the Necro. I attacked. Set one, pass. And so now he's got three cards. We have three to four. He has no value in his grave. So 4,052. Ah, dang. Brain control, man. I wonder if he had it or if he drew it. So I Chalice, the Dark Armed. I side Chalice for like Rikos and stuff. So my last card is Kalu. So now I take his at 32. He takes 200. So the reason I collude here, so one of my friends, Alfred, was telling me not not to collude here. But Lowe's could have just, if he let's say I don't collude. He's just going to pop the dark armed and I lose my Sirocco and I have a collude. All I have is a collude. So in this scenario, I'd rather have the Sirocco than the collude. But Lowe's, now Ryko's. So I'm at 4,042. Man, that brain control. I was in a great spot. Dang brain control. <laughs> the only good news is low smilled return. But now I have to, I'm staring down a cyber dragon. He also could have tribute summoned the, the cyber dragon, but. All right, now he's got plague. So 4219. Torrential. Actually, this, this tournament, I don't think I was playing Torrential. I put it in after. So what do I have? I think I have Compulse. I don't remember what my back rows were. But he's got one card left in hand. Oh, now I'm taking too long. <laughs> okay, so I just let it go through. So he goes for Black Rose. And I just compulsed. Why did I compulse it? Oh, and that's game. 
It didn't really matter. He was going to summon the car trooper no matter what. Oh, no, I could have composed him, and then he would have summoned trooper, and I would have deprisoned. I would have survived another turn, but I would have lost anyway. I remember my next card was bad. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. So Lowe's made it. To, we both made top eight, so uh, we'll see if we'll be back, some of us. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back soon. Bye.